God, please, no, please. Stop it. We're very busy up here. Stop, but we're very busy. No we're more very autographs. Busy. Please, no more autographs. very busy. We're working right now. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Steve. And, and that's Leo. That's how we got the name for our show. <laughs> no, we're very busy. Please, okay, stop. Please, no more autographs. Uh, we're going to start out with some uh, simple impressions. We each do a, a great impression. So the one I'm going to do I know is good because I do it for my three-year-old son, and you just can't fool a three-year-old. This is <laughs> Grover from Sesame Street. And please, try not, try not to rush the stage, especially you guys out there, all right? Grover from Sesame Street. Would you like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. We're very busy up here. No autographs until after the show. All right, here's Leo's impression. Now, this is Leo's impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger buying a suit. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger buying a suit. This one looks fine. There you go, Arnold buying a suit. No, please. We're awfully busy. What else can we tell you? This is, they stopped you from smoking because you That's were smoking. That's okay. You, you, know, you really shouldn't smoke. You shouldn't smoke. Anything. I'll tell you why, ladies and gentlemen, because it leaves good. those little indentations on your nose. No, that's from glasses. All right, anyway, um, apparently there's some reason you shouldn't smoke. Ladies and gentlemen, the international words. language of balloon animals. Everyone loves balloon animals. The real crowd pleaser. No one does it like Leo. Balloon animals. There you go. A little field mouse for you, sir. Isn't that nice? Balloon animals. They're so wonderful. Oh, a Snoopy dog. A Snoopy dog. Octopus. It's a bit involved. This is, this is the octopus. You're going to like this. I'll hold it. A red balloon, ladies and gentlemen. The octopus. There you go. And this one is? Green. They always see green. We don't know why. All right. And finally, a blue one again. The octopus. Balloon animals. Oh, isn't that wonderful? So do we, we, we have a lot of fans here of uh, public television, don't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Never, never dreamed there could be that many. We're going to take you to public TV now, one of these how-to shows. A guy out of Boston, very popular, Bob Vila. Y'all familiar with Bob? Let's tune in. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Bob Vila. Welcome to another episode of This Old Piece of Paper. Thank you very much. A show where we take old pieces of paper, we show you how to restore them so that... Well, boy, you can, you can hear Norman over at the workbench working at it, so why don't we, uh, why don't we go over and see what he's up to? Norm, how you doing? Hi, Norman. Oh, hiya, Bob. Hi, Norm. Why don't, um, why don't you show the folks a piece of paper we found last week? Okay, Bob, here's a piece of paper we found last week. If you notice, it was pretty much ripped right in half. Mm -hmm. And it had some pencil marks on each side. Pretty much garbage for most people. That's right, Bob. What's the first step in the restoration process? Safety goggles. Always yeah. remember your goggles, please. Very important. Quite important. Now, once you get the goggles on, what are we going to do first? Okay, now, by, before you try to bond the paper, that's the fun part. What you want to do is you want to get rid of those pencil marks first. And to use, to use that, we use a what? It's a... It's called a pliable eraser, An eraser. Bob. Now, don't, don't rush out and buy those in stores, because there's one right at the end of my pencil, all right? Now, sometimes you pick up these pencils, you're not sure which is the eraser, and Norm, show them the test we came up with, I okay? I and Bob and I devised. We pick up the pencil, randomly select one end to do the test on. I'm going to try to test on this end here, Bob. All right, I got an end set up. Here's what I do. I take that end that I chose, I just start poking okay. it again. Against my face. All right. Bob, I know that was lettered in right away. Why? Because it punctured my skin. Okay, Bob. so if the end, if the end you pick makes any kind of a... Are you okay? No, I'm okay. Bob. It shouldn't hurt. Really, if it, if it festers, it'll bounce off on the other side. Now, how do you go about using that, okay? Real simple. With the eraser and in your hand, just take it, start thrashing it along the pencil mark. So in other words, you're just, you're just rubbing wherever you see a pencil mark. That's right, Bob. <laughs> Oh, Norman, here's a question I've been meaning to ask you all week now. Do you have to rub up here on the top of the page where there is no pencil mark? Uh, no, that'd be considered more like a waste of time. All right, right, don't even bother then, folks. Only when you see a pencil mark. Now, Norman's our professional contractor, but I'm going to show you, you don't have to be a pro and a do it. I'm going to get in here and try and do some erasing myself. There so. Right there, boy. We've been talking a lot. I'll just double check. There it is. Okay. <laughs> hey, for God's sake, watch your eyes, boy. Oh, yeah, Come on. Sorry, I didn't really... <laughs> It's a lot easier than it looks here on TV. Don't be afraid. Now, Norman, did I do something wrong? Because now I'm getting all these brown speckly things. No, no, no. You didn't do anything there? wrong, Bob, because when your race still accumulate, they're called the race of shaving. What do you do with those? I just sort of brush them off to the side. Okay. They serve no purpose. You just get rid of those. Oh, yeah. so you, don't, you don't save those for anything, huh? 
No, no I don't. But okay. you know, I got a lot of contractor friends of mine who are always kidding me. They're saying, hey, Norm, Norm, why don't you save those eraser shavings? Because they make for good insulation. But look, it would take you years. Oh, yeah, you know, throw those out, out then. Don't even, don't even bother. Now, to bond the two sheets together. All right, we've, we've run out of time for this week's show. We'll get to the bonding process next week. Also next week, a very big show. will be taking staples out of the corners. Now, when you do that, oh, yeah, please, you're going to be left with two small holes. You must have an oxygen mask ready because we fill those holes in with a very toxic chemical substance. This is a known carcinogen. It's called, um, and I forgot what it's called. What's that again? White out. That's it. Until then, my name is Bob Vila. I'm Norman. This old piece of paper. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. Stephen Leo, kids. Stephen Leo, and you can see them regularly at Catch a Rising Star in Chicago and at the Catch a Rising Star clubs all over the country. We'll be right back very, very, very soon.